Do you mention that dramatic scene last night here on 35E near Waxahachie? Brooke Katz, uh, you and I were talking on the air last night. You were there, first responders pulling the victims from the wreckage. Uh, you're joining us from the CBSN studio tonight. I know you spoke at length tonight with one of our storm chasers who was on the air with us last night about that decision that he made in the moment to help. Yeah, and Doug, he was on the scene even before emergency responders. He says in all of his years storm chasing, he has never seen anything quite like this. Oh goodness, this uh, this truck has hit the um, it's hit the center median pretty much head on. Storm chaser Mike Prendergast was following the path of a tornado in Ellis County when he came across this scene on I-35 E. I pulled up and, and there's a tractor trailer that is just there smashed up against the median, and I was like, oh my goodness. Two semis pushed into the center median. Another blown into the field. I'm gonna. Get out and see if I can help. His camera rolling as he jumped out of his car and ran to help one of the drivers stuck inside. I ran up to the truck there and I could see a hand and I call out, Are you okay? And, and the guy actually answered and moved his hand. So uh, I started talking to him. I grabbed his hand and just talked to him. Um, talked to him for about 20 minutes until the um, first responders could get there and just try to comfort him and pray for him and all that. Tense moments followed by relief after crews finally rescued the driver. I've been storm chasing for a number of years, and I want to be able to help and you know provide that information. But then when something like that happens, it's like I'm done storm chasing. I'm going to get out, try to help somebody if I can do that. A DPS official say three drivers in all were hurt, one seriously, but thankfully, Doug. No lives were lost. Brooke Katz, thank you so much, and we appreciate Mike sharing his story with us in depth.